What's good, man? It's your boy J Bo once again, and um, this video right here, I'm just uh show everybody like how sometimes I have a shoe that I want to wear, but I may not have uh the shirt to match it. So sometimes I make my own shirts to match my shoes. So and um, I show you the shoes that I'm trying to match up, and I show you how I made the shirt to match the shoes. And these are the shoes that I'm trying to match up. It's the Nike Air Max CB94. Now the first thing you want to do when designing the shirt is finding the image you want to use. Once you find the image you want to use, you can place it. And um, I use Adobe InDesign just to print it out. Uh, you can choose whatever uh, program you want to use to uh, just open up the image so it can be printed. All right, so now that I got the image open, um, you could do this many ways. You can bring it into Photoshop, remove the background, and you can take it into the print, the uh, Cricut, and you know use a cut, a print to cut. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just because I want it to be a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna size it to the way I want it to get sized, and I'm gonna just print it out and cut it out with a pair of scissors. So once you find the image and open it up in the program, you want to go to the display. Make sure the display performance is at high quality. So when you print it. The quality of the image would be, you know, pretty high quality. So once I uh, get everything set the way I want it in the image, um, you know, the display quality and all that, you can uh, print it. So when you when you hit print, you go into your menu and you just click the printer that you want to print the image off on. So you you pick that, then you just go down to print. And so this is the same image. I'm just basically print this to cut out the gun part. And like I said, I wanted to make it a certain size. So I just printed out the same image with just a little different size variations. And you will see what I'm going to do with both of the images uh, towards the end of this video. So I, I basically just do the same thing. I open it up in the design program and I click on print and send it to the printer to be printed off. So like I said earlier, I just cut out the image with a pair of scissors you could do it whichever technique you want to do to get the image printed out what i chose to do was just print it out and just cut it out myself because i wanted it to look a certain way and you know i wanted to place it a certain way on the shirt but you can do this print to cut in many different ways and styles all right so now i got the design cut out and actually placed on a shirt that i want to use and what I like to do is take one of these T rulers, the T shirt rulers, to make sure everything is square, centered away, and um, proportionate, and the right measurements and stuff are correct. So um, you can get one of these off of eBay. I'll put the link in the description. So once you got the image laid down um, the way you want it to be laid down, you want to lay a, a Teflon sheet down over the image, then press it for about 30 seconds. So the next thing you want to do is open up your Cricut Design Space and uh, we're going to type the a text that we want to put on the shirt in mind. So I'm going to use the word focus. So once again, you make sure it's unlocked so you move it up and down and size it to the way you want it to be sized. Um, you can stretch it. You can move it in. You can make it wider, whatever the case may be. So you want to do that. And, you you know, you just want to make it so it can fit the way you want it to uh, fit on the shirt. So once you get all that done, you want to pick the front. In the pit to front, you just click on uh, in the top uh, rectangular area. Uh, it has these different variety of fonts that you can use. So I'm going to use the outbox font. And once again, sometimes if the font is different, it'll get bigger or smaller. So you always can still adjust it. The only thing you got to do is click on the right corner of the T-shirt and just use the arrows to go side to side, up and down, in and out you know, to uh, focus it in the way you want it to be focused in and move it the way you want it to be moved. And I'm using a Cricut to cut this vinyl, so I just did a basic cut, and once I did the basic cut, I just make sure that the image has been set on the mirror image. After you have your image set on mirror image, you can then continue with the basic cut and make sure that the machine, which is mine, is a Cricut, making sure it's connected, and then you're ready to cut. When loading your vinyl on the cut mat, make sure the shiny side is set down, and you can use anything with a flat surface to make sure it's adhered to it. Once you have the vinyl set down on the cut mat, you can send it through to be cut. When the cutting is complete, you can use an X-Acto knife or something with a sharp edge to remove the unwanted parts of the vinyl. When the weeding is complete, 
You can lay your design down on a t-shirt and press it for another 30 seconds. 